I'd agree. Uh, Min Min is such um, an oddity. No one really knows how good this character is. I don't know if there have been other offline tournaments, so this might be the first one where Min Min's legal. Uh, I think so. I don't actually know. So we're going to find out. I mean, of course, doubles isn't a very good way to gauge how viable a character is, if you ask me, but... Um, Min Min is just really oppressive. I like to consider her a better Belmont without the projectiles. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. It's like two whips. Exactly. It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, well, already a stock gone. Ooh. Um, Breeze dropping that to Zyra there with the up smash. Yeah, Evie's doing a good job. Not taking very much percentage right now. Yeah. Um, Alby, he's doing all right. Um, trying to make his way through. I don't really know how much end lag uh, Min Min's moves have, other than her grab is notoriously laggy. That's all I really know. I'm pretty sure some of her aerials are laggy. Okay. Okay, as long as you don't hit him. Ooh, Ooh, going low there. He didn't edge guard. I think he just uh, kind of like went off for the fear factor, and Evie went a bit too low and wasn't able to make it back. Mm -hmm. It scares me, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how you feel, man. Okay. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, good, man. So... Right now, yeah, blue team, I mean, even stocks, but looking at the percents, it's clear that the blue team has the advantage at the moment. Absolutely. Ooh, good DI from Albi. Indeed. Really but, hanging on to that 150%. It's living a long time. Palutena with Wraith. Okay, so there's the up smash out of shield. Very reliable option. Um, I was going to say, though, Palutena, I don't think is a character who can take that much of advantage of rage compared to Min Min with the megawatt arm. Like, you do not want to let her live to 150. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What an interesting factor. And you can just change it up. It's kind of like Pokemon Trainer in one arm. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. You got three different ones, and they each have different properties. And if I'm, I, I could be wrong about this, but I believe the frame data is also different for each arm. I think so. I think yeah. so. Like, doing a Nair is very different with the Mega Walk compared to the Ram Ram. I'd imagine. But yeah, no, that makes sense. But good stuff from Albi there, avoiding the grab and uh, taking Zyro down to his last stock. So now the red team's actually uh, taking the lead here now. Mm hmm. Breeze has got to be careful with his 100%, but other than that. Oh, <laughs> commentator's curse. Oh, there we go. No worries. And still the advantage red team, I'd say. Breeze is doing a really good job of preventing Evie from landing, right? Oh, almost not quite. Ooh, yeah, nice string of up airs. All right. A good coverage from Zyro. Stretching that arm across the stage. Have a his partner. Indeed, and now Evie, I mean, sorry, Albi, excuse me, he setting up an edge guard situation. Zyro gonna make it back. Can he get off the ledge? Yep, all right. Good stuff from Breeze, getting rid of Evie's final stock. And here we are. Ooh, nice dragon. Be careful. Breeze can pull the trigger on that up smash any second, or just unfortunate the eye into the blast zone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll just use the invisible back air. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should. They should. It's so good. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Palutena back here. Invincibility kills. I believe you're not low percent. It's a combo starter. I, I think. think so. Yeah. I think so. It's crazy. All right. Congrats, Breeze and Albi taking game one. Yes. Spe and they're like specifically just because, like, Zyro and Epi are, like, they're a good doubles team. They are. So very good. Um, Statistically speaking, they're the best two players here. Uh, and them on a team together just Ugh. it makes them combine the best player in the venue exactly <laughs> but then they 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 play Min Min instead of their mains but they're still like not doing bad with their with their Min Min's you know like mm -hmm. and but, like I, I know Evie forgot uh, her adapter so she hasn't played for a week and Zyro is saying he hasn't played in months <laughs> so it's interesting they're choosing to play Min Min Guess they just want like a fresh feel rather than to you know be out of practice with their mains and play like not optimally because it's been a while. But we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh man, are they looking for We Shop Channel? Oh, what's the difference between these two versions? Uh, so this one we're hearing right now is the original. Uh, rest in peace, We Shop Channel, by the way. Unfortunate that it went out. Mm -hmm. But there's a remix where it's like slightly faster and there's more instrumentation to it. But if you ask me, this is the this is the way to go. Over the remix. Oh man, I didn't even know there was a remix. I'm gonna have to check it out after this. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Oh, I think I might have to go play now. Or are they doing a friendly? Benin. If you are, that's cool. 
<clears throat> okay, we got King Ligma. And I forget the name of the one Evie uses. <laughs> but we got two Mii's coming in. Ooh, nice Nair combo from Albi. Ooh. Okay. Zara and Evie are doing a good job. Force and Red Team off the stage. False alarm. We are not playing yet. But anyway. Yeah, King Ligma and Queen... I don't, I don't know. I forget the name. Yeah. Check right after this. I, I want to say Queen Sugma, but I don't know for sure. Queen Sugma. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. We got the, yeah, double me brawler. Breeze dropped the stock already, 45 seconds in. Oh, what Ooh. did he even kill him with? Was that a dash attack? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, thank you, Mortem. Queen Bofa. Queen Bofa. That make that sounds right. That sounds right. Appreciate it. <laughs> but anyway, got the backer. See, backer beating out the Fox up B. Two moves with mad priority. Mm -hmm. But I think that was Albi that hit Fox. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, they're on the same team. That. Okay. Unfortunate there. Okay, a little deep for Zyro there. Oh, no! Everything killed Albi. No! <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong in that split second. Is there someone named Murphy here? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, unfortunate. It seems that in, in this particular game, Albi and Breeze have been more of a threat to each other than Evie and Zyro have to them because they've just been tra taking stocks left and right. It's true. Evie and Zyro actually have been comboing off each other quite well. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Nice edge guard. Ooh, nice Albi. But unfortunate early death for uh, Queen Bofa there. Zyro's got another stock, so they still have the advantage and less percentage. Let's see what happens. All right, not getting a juggle situation started. Meanwhile, Evie getting ready, throwing that shot put. Oh, the axe! Oh, the spike! That was sick. That was really nice. Yeah, that move has some uh, pretty crazy knockback, and it's just a really reliable spike too. Um, yeah, it just seems like an all-around good move. Mm -hmm. But now, um, there's the up smash. Two up smashes at the same time. Oh, man. They really wanted to win. They did. <laughs> they were in, like, perfect sync there, I believe. I think the up smashes came out, like, the exact same time. I think so. And it's funny because Zyra, like, ran across the stage just to do it. <laughs> he was on a mission. <laughs> he won that stock. A mission from God. But now we are here at 1-1. How are the primes doing? Oh. How are the Twitch Primes doing? Twitch Primes, Night, eh, Nitro? Have we gotten any Twitch Primes? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so, not as of yet. It makes sense. Not many people want to. Oh, all right. Not many people want to. Yo, MTE do subbed Twitch with Prime. Prime. What? what are you guys talking about? MTE oh. subbed with Prime earlier MTE in the tournament. Oh, Yo. okay. My Let's apologies. Go, my MTE. apologies. Let's go, MTE. MTE. Shout outs. No, but he subbed with Twitch Prime. Prime. Oh, and Nick, Nick SSBU with a bit. I Thanks, know. Let's Nick. talk Yo, about it now, though. Yo, we, we take bits, dude. We take bits. Nick's a homie. I like that guy. And MTE, too. Love that man. Good guy. Um. So, yeah. Oh, and, okay, Jewel Man with the channel points. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, we take what channel we can get. Channel points don't give me money. Thank you, Nitro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, absolutely right. It does not give him money. <laughs> hey, if you're, you're in it to make money, then understandable. Respect the grime. All right, now we got this Pokemon song. So either we are on a Pokemon stage, or for some reason you went Battlefield and FD and picked a Pokemon song. Mm -hmm. It still screws me up. Yeah, but it's nice. It's a really nice change. It uh, is. At least all the DLC stages have a chance to have their music played in match. At oh, least yeah. on stream. Yeah, we got uh, we got some good DLC music last round. But anyway, really good spike coming Ooh. in from uh, Albi there. Yeah, that was an early stock for Zyro. Yeah. Now we got... Um, they're just pressing their advantage now that Albi, you know, got that quick little uh, spike. Didn't quite shield that uh, long enough, the upbeat. And now we are in the blue team stage advantage, at least, though not quite game advantage. Yes. Missing the down air, unfortunately. Oh, nice parry. Locking from her partner. Not bad. Oh, m messed up the tech chase there. Albi was, like, behind Evie. He predicted the roll away, but he was not in the position to punish it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Nice Back recovery, red team. Oh, didn't get the strong hit, so that upbeat normally would have killed Albi, I think. But uh, Looks like a... Oh, nice down B over it. It's kind of like the ZSS down B, I think. 
Kind of, it's similar. Is it invincible too? I don't think it's invincible. Makes sense. Ooh! That happened so fast. No yeah. tech. Got that suplex coming in, some nice damage. Okay, now it's tied stocks apiece. All right, now let's see what happens here. Not getting the edge guard on Breeze, but Evie chasing them to center stage. Nice. Ooh, nice pressure from Evie. A questionable forward smash, and it's gonna lead to Breeze getting punished by his own teammate. And that was a lot of damage too. I think they were just desperate to get some damage in there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! That's some really nice teamwork. Ooh, nice up there from Albi. Zyro down to his last stock now. Yep, blue team have a pretty commanding lead, I'd say so. Red team, excuse me, red team. Uh, it, yeah, it's hard to say. Like, Albi's at, or not Albi, excuse me, Breeze is at such a high percent. He's playing as one of the lightest characters in the game. I'm sure, yeah. A smash attack or a back air from Brawler will do it for, at this point. Maybe even a shot put if he gets hit. I think so. All right. What do we got, Breeze? Nice whiff punish on that up smash. Meanwhile, Zyro himself with a whiff punish of his own. Oh, the double smash attack again. There it is. And uh, it looks like uh, <laughs> MTE saying, how is Logan not dead yet that he died? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's the spectator curse, similar to the commentator curse. Though not quite as common. No, that is true. <laughs> Still possible. Um, anyway, up B. Random knockback, okay then. It's pretty even. It's like scary how even it is. Oh yeah, you're right. Man, Breeze really let that damage rack up. Oh, and now the blue team are back in the lead. Ever so slightly, but a lead nonetheless. Yo, nice work from Zyro, just running into the ledge just to make it comfortable for Evie to recover. They really needed that stock. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good awareness, but unfortunately, I believe that was his up smash that killed Evie. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I totally didn't catch that. So unfortunate, like he had the right idea to help his teammate out, but he was ultimately her, her downfall, so hate to see it. But red team gonna work with that catching that um landing with the up smash and now albie's got himself in a 2v1 situation if he can get zyro off it might be possible here certainly help let's just see got to be wary of evie's ledge trapping though oh uh, i can't believe he died is that an sd i think so because uh albie just did the explosive flame falling into the ledge and zyro was shielding and then he jumped off that is very unfortunate for Zyro, but, you know, like I said, blue team, I mean, red team will take whatever they can get to potentially take this game three here and then go into game four on match point. Ooh. Just in the up smash. Nice parry. Gonna shoot that uh, auto reticle. All right, what do we got? Man, they're just really not wanting to overcommit. That oh, I spoke yeah. too soon. <laughs> I was I was not expecting that. I'm yeah. just I'm just as shocked as Albie in that point in time. My goodness. Okay. So, okay. There we go. Game four. Now I, I mean going on to game four. Evie and Zyro taking game three. Unfortunate though. Very unfortunate uh, way to go out for Albie. Mm hmm. It was a good comeback from. Uh, from blue team just because Zyro jumped off the stage right at the beginning. Oh yeah. Not he, bad. I also think he like got uh down aired pretty early on too. So yeah. Yeah, very nice uphill climb back to the to secure the victory I should say. Ooh. Okay, so it's the hard switch to Hungi. Yeah. What happened to Hungi? I remember him wearing like the Knuckles outfit in Smash 4. This isn't the Hungi I remember. Yeah, I think because King Ligma stole that outfit. Dang. And Zyro does not want two characters with the same outfit. Understandable. So we've got the skeleton head and the uh, Joy-Con, I think. Is that the Joy-Con oh, outfit? Uh, yeah, what's that called? The, um... oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh... Oh my God. I don't want to say Nintendo Cardboard. That's not it. Oh, uh, was it Labo? Labo, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Labo outfit, which is so sick, I gotta say. It is, it's a really nice touch. Very, very creative me costume there. But anyway, 
Both uh, blue team players starting out very aggressively. Yep, Evie suffering a bit of damage. Yeah. Actually, quite a bit of damage. Climbing almost at 100 now. Man, what? Albie's like right on her tail. He is not letting her breathe. Would have got that stock right there, but unfortunately missing the up air. And now, um, both teams just fighting to get a lead here. All right. Even though Evie's at a high percent, I think they're technically doing better. Yeah. Um, when you like compare the percentages of the. Uh, okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, before <laughs> that, I'd agree that the blue team was better at that moment. All right, what's he doing? Just holding Albi there. Ooh. Evie almost got that up smash after Zaro knocked Albi over to the left side of the stage. That would have been sick. Ooh. Okay, that's first stock of Breeze. All right, there we go now. Even stocks. Not too even for sense, but that's okay. We got the jab in the corner. That's going to be some nice damage. Meanwhile, what do we got over here? Zyro catching the jump out of shield with the forward air. Setting up camp on center stage, looks like, but getting chased to the edge by Breeze. Doesn't look like uh, Evie was able to get any up smashes off Albi over there while that was all happening. Very unfortunate for her. I mean, look, it's almost been two minutes since the game started, and Albi's still holding on to that first stock. Yo, Zyro! That oh. was crazy. What ledge coverage? Although he lost his stock, got Breeze down to one. I wonder why Breeze... Doesn't Fox get his side B back after he gets hit? I think so. He was just so far. Oh, but I, it looked like he didn't even try to side B, though. He just up -beat. I think he could have made it if he side beat then up -beat. Oh, I thought he side beat uh, closer to the last zone, then up -beat. But maybe maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Either way, that, that was another stock for Breeze. And uh, finally, pretty even game now, I'd say. All right. What do we think is going to happen here? I'm thinking that blue team... Oh, actually, never mind. I was about to say blue team's going to keep pushing red off, but Gyro fell off again. Now that is a pro prophetic commentator's curse. Calling it before something happens. Very <laughs> unfortunate. Prediction. Indeed. But now, yeah, last stock, high percents for one player on each team. All right. Zyro missing the edge card there. Envy catching with the up B, but not getting the strong hit. Oh, okay, not getting punished on that roll on the platform. Oh, shield break! That's a dead Evie! Oh, this is such a good opportunity for red team. Oh, boy. Here we go. King Ligma versus Albi Palatina. Oh, Albi's got to win this. They want to move on. Sitting grands. Winner side. Let's see what happens. Can we take this? To, can the red team take this to a game five? Let's see. Good ledge trapping from Zyro. Also, my mistake. That's Hungi, not King Ligma. Um, but... Oh, no worries, no worries. Also, we got a Al BW in the chat. Let's see what I'll, I'll accept that. Sorry. Oh, no, all good. My mistake. I I, I shouldn't have cut in there. Ah, no worries. All right. Quick narrow to shield into the auto reticle poke. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Well, no fallout from the nares. Super. Oh, the oh. tech. Nice tech. Zyro's ledge trap. Oh, cut three. Well, a little too high on that last one, but damn, that racked up the damage. All right, so let's see. what The win condition here for uh, Zyro most likely is to like, catch him with an up smash or, a, or an edge guard. Um, Albi has a ton of win conditions right now. He's got the back. Oh, that oh. could have been it. Yeah, that F smash. Jeez. Poor throw. What do we got? Oh. All oh. right, that's, oh. that's attack. Not going to kill. Oh, this is close. Yeah, there's rage on that Palu. The, oh, okay, chasing the roll, but not getting a punish out of it. Oh my gosh, she's trying to get the up B. All right, the tech. All right, I'll be, what do we got? What do we got? The back air. Oh. 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 Holy God. We got, so we got some cheers on the couch and the camera behind Zyro from Venon and Casper. Indeed. Very nice setup, by the way. But yeah, that, that was a... Uh, that was a really intense last stock. Mm -hmm. Duck, like, what do you think is going to happen for this game five now? I don't know. <laughs> they keep three of them end up off stage on the same side, and then they <laughs> all hit the ledge and don't tech. So I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This uh, this set has been rather unpredictable. Um, so let's see if it continues to be that way, or if one of them is just going to run away with this fifth game. 
Yeah, it's hard to say. Because I bet both teams are thinking there's no more time to screw around. Yeah. Like, this is serious. It's this is game time. five. Yeah. And winner of this gets the guaranteed spot in grand finals. The other still has it. Okay, we're not messing around anymore. Oh, God. The main round. <laughs> oh. We have we Fit Trainer and the Pokemon Trainer. This. this oh. it, oh, I was just going to say, this is, this is classic AVD Evie Zyro. Indeed. Oh, it's been way too long, the duck. I'm getting very nostalgic. Oh, what happened? Oh, my God. Well, that was kind of cool and nuts. He, so, oh, okay, okay, it's oh. even. It's even, okay. Um, damn. <laughs> I'm a little speechless. <laughs> Me too, man. Oh, my God. Well, very fortunate stroke of luck there for the blue team. They would have been down a whole stock had that not occurred. Yes. It's nice having we fit as the partner because they can just stock tank and heal. Yeah. Ooh, nice rising there from ledge. Oh, trying to catch that uh, we fit with the upper. Oh, Zyra with that nair off at ledge, catching Albi. Looks a minute in, Albi already on his last stock. It's looking scary for the red team, but Breeze, Breeze is hanging on. You know, hasn't taken a beating yet compared, like, relatively speaking, of course. Mm -hmm. He's doing quite well, actually. Oh, ball friendly fire from Wee Fit. Nice off air from Zyro. Now, uh, yeah, we still got the blue team with a somewhat noticeable advantage right now, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, that's a safe bet. Yeah. But here we are now. Um, sending Evie off stage, but of course. All right. I was going to say it's risky to try and edge guard Pal uh, Wee Fit Trainer unless you're Palutena. It's funny because Zyro went to edge guard the edge guard. <laughs> and died. <laughs> You'd hate to go out like that, but Zyro now down to his last stock alongside Aldi. So let's see, can Evie hang on to this? It looks like it. <clears throat> now Breeze, his percentage is climbing. Let's see, what do we got? Catching the, uh, that was cool. He waited for the Pokemon switch to end and got the grab. Just simple things. Ooh, Run. this deep breathing. You do not want to go near Wii Fit when they've got deep breathing on. Oh, is that too low? Oh, no. okay, makes it. And the game has been out for almost two years, and I'm still surprised when I see Fox come front back from that low. All right. Yeah, it's just because they changed, like, the, what's it called? The magnet hands mechanic. So I don't know if it's always going to grab. So I, I'm in the same boat as you. Uh-oh. Alfie just died at 7%. And the back throw. That's it. And Zyro and Evie, moving on to Winterside of Grants. Congratulations. Indeed. Ooh, that was really well done. Oh.